This video was proudly sponsored by Dremio. Use the link in the description below to get a 30-day free trial to Dremio Edge. So, Lindsay, for Valentine's Day, I got you a one-year, I got us both, one-year subscriptions mm -hmm. to Drumeo. What is Drumeo? Drumeo is like Netflix, but the Netflix of drum lessons. We'll do like a series or something, or we'll do a video of like you, progress of you at the kit uh -huh. over 30 days using Drumeo. Do you want to do that? Yeah, I want to do that. Okay. okay. We'll do a video like that. Hey guys, what's going on? So I'm here alone in Wyatt's studio sitting at the e-kit because today is my first day learning how to drum. I've got my laptop and I'm signed into Drumio and I'm basically just gonna start at Drumio method level one, getting started on the drums. Okay, so there's five courses and the first one is on gear. The name of each piece of drum equipment already got that. How to hold your drumsticks properly and how to play your hi-hat and bass drum pedals. Okay, that sounds dope, let's do that. Oh, I don't even have drumsticks. Okay, got it. Everything I just did was about how to like hold your sticks properly, how to put your feet on the pedals, and how to like hit the drums and cymbals and at which angles. So none of that was actually playing, that was all just kind of like set up and preamble. So now I'm on to my first lesson, which is actually playing, and it's called playing your first beat. Technically I've already played my first beat, but we're not here to split hair, so let's do it. One, one, two, one, two, three, four. Oh boy, okay. With that, I'm coming up on an hour of practice, so I'm gonna stop there. So far, the hardest part, obviously, has been trying to play with the click. So with this basic beat, I was meant to be playing hi-hat, one, two, three, four, snares on two and four, kick on one and three. And I was just trying to basically just play the hi-hat along with the click, and that alone was pretty difficult. I kind of have a hard time differentiating whether I'm hitting it at the same time as the click or slightly before or after. And I'll kind of do like the first couple rounds of one through four, and then I'll sort of lose it and I'll fall off tempo. So I don't know, we'll come back at it tomorrow, we'll get back at it, trying to play in time once again. All right guys, it's me and it is day three, learning how to play drums. So on the first day, oh. hey guys, it's me. So it is day three. All right guys, so it's day three of learning how to play drums. The first day that I was learning, I went on Drumio, started watching some videos, and the first thing I was sort of assigned, I guess you could say, was to learn a basic beat. Four on a closed hi-hat, snare on one and three, kick on two and four. Simple, right? Very simple. I've played it a million times in fun videos with Wyatt. But what is not simple <laughs> is playing it in time. It is challenging learning how to play in time. Literally yesterday I came in here, I didn't watch any more Drumeo videos, I just came in, I literally put on a click and all I even did was play the closed hi-hat. Even just trying to play the closed hi-hat in time with the click and hit it at the exact moment of the click, turns out it's pretty difficult. So <laughs> that's where I'm starting, that's what I did yesterday. I was able to play in time for maybe like a count of four twice and then I would slowly fall off. Once I get the hi-hat in time, then I'm gonna add in the snare, and then once I get that down, then I'll add the kick, then I'll consider the beat to have been fully accomplished. I can go back on Dromeo and I can watch the next video, which is on Phil. All right, you guys, I think I've squeezed as much as I can out of practice today. My goal is by the end of this week to be able to play at least the hi-hats and the snares in time. Then I can maybe add the kick next week. Uh, so yeah, I guess that's a wrap today. I'm gonna go practice my bongos now, I guess. Four, one. Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, and it's day seven of learning drums. I can say that I've 
kind of like hit a wall at this point where at first it was like fun and exciting oh my god I'm learning drums now it's getting like a wee bit frustrating because <laughs> I'm still just trying to figure out how to play in time Jared did say specifically in the first video to not come back until I can play that basic beat in time and so far I can't so yeah that really just leaves me with one choice and that's to continue practicing to the click figuring out how to play in time one two three four shall we I kind of have a fear that this video won't be that exciting because it's really just me trying to figure out how to play in time for the whole entire thing and that sucks but like it's also real <laughs> like this is apparently what learning an instrument is like I've never really learned an instrument before my entire background throughout my whole life is in visual arts so you know when I was a kid I always drew painted then of course you guys know I started sewing and went to fashion school all this stuff so it's always been all visual for me so I've never actually had to sit down and learn an instrument and what I've noticed over the past seven days the thing that I like about trying to figure out how to play drums is that you can see little improvements in yourself every single day like these little incremental gains that are as easy to see and pick up when you're learning something that's way more subjective like how to paint for example like not every painting back to back to back gets you know incrementally better but I noticed that with me trying to learn how to play in time every single day I do get a little bit better even if it's just you know the tiniest little bit you can like see it it's really obvious like you're either hitting stuff at the same time as the metronome or you're not and that's it but like all these other things I've done in my life like in the arts can be a lot more subjective and it's kind of hard to say whether like you know this painting is a good painting or it's not a good painting your brain just gets exhausted trying to figure out how the have a flip to hit <laughs> these things in time and so far this journey has been not exactly what I expected that's what I would say one two three four one two holy shit holy shit holy shit I just did it for the first time ever oh my god I'm so glad I got it on camera I'm gonna show Wyatt after this holy fuck I'm so excited I think I should tell him now no he's in the middle of something I shouldn't tell him now I should do it again I should do it again I should get the hang of it so when he comes back in I can show him okay yeah one two three four. Oh my god oh my god I have to tell him I have to tell him I have to tell him I did it I know you did. it's on camera I fucking did it like three times I'm out I'm got. I'm got. <laughs> He heard me. Big dick in the room, everybody watch out. All right, you guys, so I started this video, today's little vlog, with a monologue about how this is so hard. And I finally figured it out, how to play all three things in time at 70 BPM for like three to four passes. So that's amazing, that's a great start. I would consider that being able to play it in time. I'm gonna watch the Phil video tomorrow and we're, we're gonna do it, we're gonna watch the Phil video tomorrow. I'm gonna continue to practice this today, but I'm gonna cut the footage for the day. I'm just gonna sit here and practice for a little bit longer. All right, what's up guys? So it is day 10 of practice. I was supposed to learn a Phil from the Dromeo video, but I didn't like it because I thought it was boring. So I got Wyatt to give me a new Phil and I've been practicing with that and I can play the beat and the Phil from Wyatt in time. So the next Next one that I'm looking at is called playing the drums in time which I kind of thought I was supposed to be playing the drums in time this whole entire time so hopefully this video is like kind of irrelevant because I've already been practicing to a metronome for every single thing I've been doing so oh my gosh okay so yeah I accidentally I guess worked ahead I thought in the beat video he said not to come back until I could play the beat in time but now there's a video about playing the beat in time so I don't know I already did it so I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and skip to the next video to be honest Okay, I went back and watched the video about playing in time, so I shouldn't skip anything I don't know why I'm skipping anything as though I like actually know stuff about drums So they're providing loops that are like drumless music for me to practice to instead of a metronome because obviously Practicing to a metronome is freaking boring. So that's cool I'll probably go download these loops and then that'll be great That'll be like a great little thing to include in the video me playing to actual music So cool glad I went back and watched this gonna download those loops one two three four one two Three, four. Hey guys, what's going on? So today is day 12 of practice. I also need to be practicing over the music, the loops that were provided to me from Dremio. The only problem with those loops is that like they give you a version with no click and they give you a version with a click, but the one with the click, the click is like very faint and I'm not really able to pick it up. And I really want to be able to hear it loudly as well as the music. So I'm waiting for Wyatt to basically download the ones without the click and put a loud click on top of it so that I'm able to practice with that. That's not done yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and play with only metronome today. And then hopefully by tomorrow's practice, I can play with the loops with a, uh, with a click that's nice and loud. One, two, three, four. 
two, three, four, one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one. Hey guys, what's up? It's day 14 of practice. I now have the loops from Drumeo with a much louder click on top. And I think I might also watch the next Drumeo video that's up. So now we're gonna check out course four. The first lesson is called eighth note beats. Okay, I'm gonna stop watching there. I've kind of got the next two beats that I'm gonna be learning. So let's practice what I've been doing, which is just playing basic beat plus fill why it taught me to the loop. And then we'll try to play these new beats plus the fill why it taught me with the loop. back it is day either 16 or 17 of actual practice I need to figure out how to play with Phil <laughs> let's see how to play with Phil without losing my timing coming out of that more complicated beat so maybe I don't need the music right now maybe I just need a straight metronome All right, homies, I think that's where I'm gonna finish. So I didn't get to practice until way later today, but I think I've got at least like 25 minutes and maybe 30. I think that's good. My brain kind of runs out of attention juice after that point when it comes to this instrument. I guess I'll see you guys either tomorrow or Wednesday. for practice for today. I think my sense of timing has improved like a hundredfold since I started this. So yeah, I guess I will see you guys either tomorrow or Friday. Friday being my final day of practice. Woo! Hey guys, what up? So today is my official last day of practice. And for today, I'm just gonna go ahead, put on the uh, loop again, the musical loop, and play the song. I guess this will be like the last time I practice up until the day we film the video. My final little performance segment, which I feel like is gonna be really fun. So I can't wait to show you guys what I've learned. Right now I was just practicing, trying to make the fill harder, even though both Jared and Wyatt were like, just play the fill the way it's supposed to be. I'm like, nah, I'm gonna push myself and try to learn it a little bit more complicated than that. We'll see if I end up doing that in like the final little performance bit or not. So, see you then.
All right, guys, we're back, and this is my final vlog of the whole entire 30-day drum challenge. You just watched my drum performance, so I hope you enjoyed it. Here we are at the very end, and I just kind of wanted to sit Wyatt down, because Wyatt hasn't been a part of this video at all until now, and just sort of give my final thoughts on the whole experience of learning drums. So what are your final thoughts? So I went into it super bright and cheery and optimistic, is what I would say. Okay. And then about seven days in, I had that sort of like dip in morale, where I started to have some anxiety because I was like, what am I going to have to show at the end of this? and I was sort of getting caught up in the whole trying to play with the metronome and I was really worried and I was like, what if this video turns out to be boring because I can't learn that much? It was literally that day, as you guys just saw in the vlogs, that I played to the metronome for the first time. So it's kind of like all things happen for a reason. That gave me another little boost. And then I just kind of like held steady throughout the rest of the challenge and just tried to improve a little bit more every single day. Now that I'm at the end, I can say that like, that's one of my favorite things about learning this instrument or that was one of my favorite things about this challenge, was the little tiny improvements that you can see incrementally every single day. That's something really interesting about learning an instrument because I said it at one point, but I feel like in visual arts especially, like you don't necessarily see like each thing you do is like, better than the last and then the next thing's better and the next thing's better and it's like an incremental like a tiny adjustment over time it's sort of more like all over the place or at least that's how it was for me but learning the drums I remember like I would come in here one day and I could play to the metronome for like four times whatever like four, one, two, three, fours. And then the next day I could do it six times. And then the next day I could do it 10 times. And it was like every single time a little bit better. So super encouraging. Learning instruments, they can be very linear. And that's what you're describing is mm -hmm. how linear it is. That's why I think that it can be so much more daunting than learning something else to learn an instrument is because it's so obviously, if I don't get this thing that I'm working on, then I can't move to the next thing. And if I want to be distracted from this because it's too painful to move forward past, well, you don't have an option. You just have to like mm -hmm. keep pressing through it. But what it's done for me personally is I feel as though the mindset that I've taken from learning the drums and learning songs and working on the channel and then learning guitar and learning to sing, that sort of like linear compounding progress, it makes it so that in the long run you can learn anything. I would agree with that. Yeah. I feel like I'm a better learner now because of this experience. Yeah, I think instruments yeah. I think instruments really, really do that. I've noticed that a lot in like, cause I teach, so a lot of my students, I can see that happening in. Oh, you get to see it all the time. You get to be along for so many different people's journeys. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, that's really cool actually. Yeah. That's awesome, that's it really is cool. inspiring <laughs> it's, I'm super blessed to be a part of them. Cause it's like, honestly, teaching drums is like the highlight of my life sometimes. Aww. A lot of the time, especially when I have students come back to me and they're just like really good. And I was involved <laughs> in that somehow. And I'm like, wow, that's pretty cool. That's really cool. So I don't know. I, I feel as though everyone should learn a musical instrument of some kind at yes. some point. It uh, just teaches you how to learn. I was just about to say that because I'm 25 years old and this is the first time I've learned a musical instrument. And, and you have a university <laughs> degree. I do. <laughs> yeah. So. so the fact that you have a university degree on the wall out there and you're saying that like this experience, yeah. learning that backbeat. Kick, snare, <laughs> yeah. kick, snare over the, so last, over the last 30 days. The fact that you can say that that has helped you to become a better learner at the age of 25 with a university degree and a career. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It's like a whole different, well, it's kind of like accessing a whole different part of your brain. The thing that I, the last thing I wanted to touch on was figuring out how to play to a metronome was like such a huge deal. It was such a thing that like why it couldn't describe it to me in words. But once I did it, I was like, whoa, okay. Like you can't think essentially. You just, you can't think about it. You have to like feel it and you have to just turn your thinking brain off and use this other part of yourself to be able to play in time. And that's something that I hadn't, I guess I had encountered it before when you're sort of like in flow doing other things, but I'd never really pieced it together that that's what you need to be able to play in time. And so I, I feel like I learned how to learn and I also feel like I accessed a new like part of my brain almost, like a new ability by being able to play the metronome. A learning instrument engages your entirety. Like it's like you wholly. Mm -hmm. It's like one of the only things in my life that it's the only thing in my life that when playing music engages me on every level. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like if you're not in it, it's one of those things that's like, I say this a lot. I'm like, don't fake it. Either do it or don't do it. Just mm -hmm. don't try to in between it. That's what instruments gave me was like, if you're going to do something in life, do it because if you're if you're ever gonna try and play an instrument, you're gonna half-ass it. It's not gonna work. No, it'll never work. Exactly, and it, it could never work. And it teaches you how to like either you're gonna be in it 
or don't be in it. And like, if mm-hmm. you don't be in it, that's fine. Take your time, whatever you need, or maybe it's not the thing for you, whatever. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it comes back to this intensity that you find at the drum set or with a guitar or learning violin or pressing a note through your vocal cords, like whatever it is. Mm-hmm. It's like, if you are going to do it and you're gonna make it sound good and you're gonna touch somebody else with that pitch or with that rhythm, and the only way to be able to do that is to mean it 110% on mm-hmm. every level, spiritually, mentally, physically every level of who you are has to be engaged with that task Absolutely. so i think this is a great place to call this video yeah i think so too also of course a huge shout out to drumeo because they're the ones who enabled me to do this video in the first place so thank you so much drumeo you guys if you're interested in learning drums it's really a great place to look like as much as i had wyatt and i could have just ran out and asked him some questions and i did sometimes i feel as though the videos were pretty they covered everything they covered a lot i was left with basically no leftover questions after watching the videos through i watched like maybe a total of eight to ten videos and i understood them all the explanations are perfectly clear perfectly understandable even for me never having learned an instrument before so yeah if you guys are interested in checking out drumeo do so at the link below there you go thank you so much drumeo appreciate you guys yeah thank you drumeo (laughs) (laughs) hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you enjoyed my little cover all right thanks so much guys we'll see you all very soon with something new